right, get your Bible and go to Mark, uh, go to Revelation 13. But before we read it, or just, or you can go to Matthew 24, or you can go to Luke 21, or you can go to Mark 13. In other words, there is so much Bible on an end time prophecy of the world and the apocalyptic events that's coming. People are trying to laugh it away. Because the Mayan calendar of December 21st, 2012 is coming to an end. And so most of the world is saying, I don't have to worry about nothing. We'll wait till December and deal with the Mayans. If the world don't come to an end that day, then there's no such thing as an end of the world. These Bible scholars and these Bible preachers, these end time prophecy guys, the Mayans and everybody else. You know what? So that's the devil's lie, folks. He's using the Mayan calendar during this very time with their 13 Mayan elders and their 13 crystal skulls to try to deceive the people in not believing that Christ is going to return, that we're going to be going through a period of events that's shaping us up for the apocalyptic moments that's coming up on the earth. Now, there was an article written about me. Matter of fact, I mentioned it in the last video, but I want to show it to you right now. Um, it's by God Discussions. You can... I'll put the link in the description there, here on the video below. But, uh... There you go. It's, uh, let's see if I got it close enough there. There it is. Okay. End times. Oh, man. Oh, baby, technology has a hard time. End times party. End times party, 2012. Dead bees, bats, and dolphins. Paul Begley and the mark of the bees. Millions of bees are dropping dead in Florida as 900 dolphins washing up on the shore Thousands of bats dying mysteriously. This is the topic of Begley's recent broadcast that is reminiscent of the animal and insect deaths of 2011. With his nearly minted blue coffee cups, so today I thought I'd just show you my red one, okay. <laughs> With his newly minted blue coffee cups, coffee mug, and his trademark, Are You Serious?, Paul Begley has possibly coined a new phrase to describe the end of the world. The mark of the bees. I never said mark of the bees, guys. I said the mark of the beast. But, or could it have been mark of the beast? It's a little hard to tell, she says. Uh, then she does put a link to uh, my YouTube video about the millions of bees and bats and things happening, the Hosea prophecy. And while we didn't find anything about dead bees... Begley is referring to the 900 dolphins that washed up on a shore in Peru, and that happened, over the last four months. Nobody really knows what killed them, but suspect a virus may be the culprit. Seven million bats are dying in Vermont, and scientists think it is a fungus called the white nose, but they really don't know what it is. Uh, and then she puts down white nose is caused by a fungus, that prompts bats to wake from their winter hibernation and die when they fly into the winter landscape in search of food that isn't there. First spotted in New York six years ago, it's been found in 16 states and four Canadian provinces. It's nearly wiped out some species of bats, folks. One of the hardest hit is the little brown bat, once the most common bat in the Northeast and found across the country in much of Canada and north into Alaska. So there's some kind of white-nosed fungus that's killing millions and millions of bats throughout Canada and, uh, you know, in America. Begley isn't the only one catching the end times feel. The apocalyptic spirit brought on by the deaths of these animals is hitting the end times community like a bee thudding to the ground from full flight. And one enterprising end-time site thinks that the wrong turn of a gray whale into a river is a reason enough for Jesus to return. And I don't know who that, who that was, but you know somebody did a video on that, I guess. 20 tons of dead fish washed up on the beach in Norway in January. We know that happened. And the blackbirds are still falling from the sky in Arkansas. We know that happened. And that's why we wrote... This book here to inform people what's going on in what's called the Hosea Prophecy. And it's found in the book of Hosea, folks, chapter 4, verses 1, 2, and 3. 
because there's no truth, nor mercy, nor knowledge of God in the land, and because of the swearing, the lying, the killing, the stealing, and committing adultery, God said that the beasts of the field are going to die. God has a controversy with the inhabitants of the land, and the, and the land is going to languish, and the beasts of the field are going to die, the fowls of heaven are going to fall from the sky, and yea, the fishes of the sea are going to be taken away. That's why we wrote this book right there, to inform people of these events. She goes on to say, 20 tons of the dead fish washed up on the beach in Norway in January, and the blackbirds are still falling from the sky in Arkansas. After a lull of a year, the end of the world spirit is alive and well, and it's fun to have Pastor Begley. He's the most colorful and interesting minister we know to put his spin on it. Okay. So anyway, it's a good art. It's it, it's a good article. God discussions is uh bringing it out. And um she's a good writer actually, Dakota O'Leary. She is actually a pretty good writer, and she's always been fair. She's always been fair, and they are always fair. And so anyway, get a chance to check it out. The links below. You can read the article for yourself. Uh, there's also a very powerful article in there about uh, Joel Osteen, who apparently has said that if you vote for Romney, that would send at least a million souls to hell. I don't know if he actually said that. Um, anyway, they've got an article about that in here, and i got some others, so anyway. Uh, I don't agree with everything they write, but then again, you know, they're, they're trying to be uh, fair, trying to be fair and are trying to find middle ground. So I appreciate the article they wrote and the fact that uh, they can be a little lighthearted and I can be a little lighthearted because even though we know we're living in the last days, we don't know the day nor the hour. And you know, just like the chips in the Philippines, as I've said several times, I don't know for sure if it is true. I've got videotape confessions by people on the streets that say it is. I got the person who actually made the videotape from the Philippines contacting me on Facebook, communicating back and forth, telling me that it's absolutely a true event. And this person's now looking to see if she can find someone either ha that has the microchip or knows a personal family member or something. So there's more investigation going on. So I, I, what I say to everybody is don't close the book on that yet, okay? We don't know. We don't know exactly where we're at with the microchip thing in the Philippines. I've had other people contact me who are from the Philippines, who's a lady whose mother actually lives right in uh, that city that says that she doesn't know anything about it. But then again, we lived in America, and nobody knew anything about 432 African-American men with syphilis down in Georgia. And, so, and there was also... Men in with, in with syphilis that was put into them by the American government down in Guatemala. That's another country. Again, because people don't care. And this went on for 60 years and nobody knew anything about it. So you can't... You know, what, you, what I'm trying to tell you is this end times, new world order, one world government, the rise of an antichrist, the rise of a beast is filled with deception. They are doing things behind our back, folks, that we have no idea what's going on. The Bible told us, though, that there would be a mark. And it began to tell us that the Antichrist would deceive them that dwell on the earth by means of miracles, which he had power to do in the sight of the beast. It also says they had power to give life into the image of the beast, and that the image of the beast should both speak and cause uh, many would worship the image of the beast. We know that dead birds are falling from the sky. We know whales are washed up on the bed. We know millions of fish are dying. We know that cows are pitched over dead. We know that the microchip was developed. We know the Obamacare bills says that it's in there to be implemented in the people. We know the dollar is dying. We know the euro is dead. We know the entire Middle East is going up in smoke. We know. So there is so much that we can already see. And there's so many things that we also were hearing about. Obviously, that we're living in the last days. Are you saved? Have you given your life to Jesus Christ? I really want you to be born again. Please call upon the name of the Lord or contact me here. Let me help you. Send me a personal message. I want to be saved. 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 